It's Evolved Wizard time, baby. This is the new card art. That's what it looks like. Let's try it out. Now, with the evolutions now, they're basically not focusing on, like, the HP and making them fucked in terms of the stats outside of their unique ability. And so let's see this. This is the Evolved Wizard. Let's give it a crack. Um, got Carl helping me out as well. As you can see, it is one card cycle. So if its, if its ability is broken, then for one card cycle, that's going to be broken. It's also kind of weird because, like... Wizard's such a weird card because, lo like, in lower arenas in the game, I feel like it's quite strong. <laughs> but then when you get higher up, like, none of the top players on the leaderboards ever play Wizard. So this might actually bring Wizard back, depending on if it's good or not. And as, it, as I said, one card cycle, so I've literally already got it. Now, I've seen a little bit of what this does, but I'm interested to try it out. I think it's very dependent on... Like, its ability and what it does is very dependent on what it's going up against. So I won't play anything to help it here, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, the Dutch is going to just kill it. Um, he's got the normal Princess Towers. Okay, he's playing Minion on the other lane. Let's see how this goes with the normal Princess Towers. Ooh, he played Barbs. So as you can see, there we go. The Ring of Fire is what its unique ability is. So every cycle, your wizard will basically be fucking purple and have the ring of fire so it's it's a normal wizard everything about it besides its wardrobe is different and then it's got the ring of fire but the ring of fire doesn't really do anything if you're against like i don't know any card that shoots from range because this the, the ring of fire is so small like i've got it again it's got so it's got a little shield that is basically the ability it's a little shield and a ring of fire now i wonder if he's gonna okay let's do this let's see how this goes Will the, it's not going to lose its ring. I wonder if... You know what I want to try? I want to try playing the Evolve Wizard just like in, in the center of something. So this would be interesting. Yeah, because it's got like that Evolve Tesla kind of feel to it where you can just play it in the middle of like a huge push and it's definitely going to do some damage. All right. By the way, I'm going to be covering the new spell tomorrow. There's a new spell coming out in this up, update as well. And I'm going to make a video on it. So smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, anyway, let me... Let me get the Evolve Wizard so that we can try. I, I want to try and play it on something. I think he's just leaking Elixir here. All right, let's play an Ice Golem. Hopefully, this generates a counter push from him. Oh, he's got the Evolve. Okay, let's see how it goes. He's playing the Evolve Wizard. I'll play the Evolve Wizard. We'll hold that thought of playing it uh, in the middle of a push. And let's see how it goes to defend. All right, I'm just going to play Evolve Skeletons over here. So if I play an Ice Golem, it should just stop it like a normal Wizard. And then there's the Fire Ring. Did a little bit of damage to the Ice Golem, but not nothing crazy. I've got my Evolve Wizard now. I wonder if he's got... Oh, I want to see how it goes against something like Royal Recruits or... Oh, this will be interesting. Oh. That was a weird interaction. All right, let's go Evolve Wizard here. He's going to go with a Minion Horde. Okay, so I'm presuming the Fire Ring does enough damage to, like, literally fully kill a Minion Horde. Here we go. Against the Knight. Wow, that knockback is kind of nuts, actually. Um, <laughs> kind of struggling, bro. has got like every card the wizard's good against, but to me, it doesn't even seem that amazing. It seems good, but some of, of evolutions like the bomber are just ridiculously OP and it's absolutely necessary to put it in your evolution slot. But wizard man, I don't know, man, doesn't seem, uh, doesn't seem too cracked to me. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's just going to kill it. That's the thing about its ability. It's not like it's cause with the Tesla, it's making up for the weakness that it doesn't have that swarm killer effect. Like, Tesla's really good at killing units one by one. But the Evolve Wizard already is a splash card. So, it's you kind of really... I mean, the shield's cool. But you don't really need more splash. Because that's what its normal attacker does. Like, its normal attack is a lot of splash. That's its whole gimmick. But the thing is... Maybe if you're distracting it with a unit and something else is killing your Evolve Wizard up close. Like a Barbarians or something. Then it's good. Because then the Fire Ring will protect it and the shield and whatnot. But that's a really, like, specific situation, if that makes sense. Let's see the Evolve Wizard here. Let me cycle to another one. Um, oh, oh! Yeah, that wasn't bad. Kills the Goblin Gang, goes on, and it's going to take the tower. All right, Carl's put in Evolve Royal Recruits, Graveyard, a few other cards as well that I'm keen to try. I want to see how good the Evolve Wizard is against, like, clearing out a Graveyard, for example, if it needs to, you know, like, with its Fire Ring. I also want to see, like, if the Royal Recruits and Ebobs, that's another one. Okay, you know what? Let's play... He's got the... Okay, never mind. Let me play the Evolve Wizard this time. Um, damn, okay, that's going to be interesting. So one so one Ebob can fully take off the um, uh, the Evolve Wizard's fire shield thing. And then it would knock them both back. It might actually fully counter Ebob's by itself, which would be 
kind of decent. But like I say, a very situational card, I feel like. Some of the evolutions are just literally fucking broken against everything in the entire game. You can just play half them at the bridge like Evolve Bomber and Firecracker and it just wins the game. Wizard, not so much. Especially considering it's a 5 elixir card. It definitely should be one card cycle. Although, what do I know? Usually my takes on like new cards and Duchess <laughs> specifically are always wrong. So we'll see, man. But I'm pretty sure like it is a good card, but something tells me it's not as good. It is good, but not as good as the other ones, I reckon. Um, all right, I got it back. Let's see if he's going to play something now. I'll give him the thumbs up. Okay, let's see. So I'm going to play the Evolve Wizard when the, uh, the Duchess kind of runs out of shots here and they start to accumulate. All right, let's see this now. So you play it in the middle. Oh, wow. I guess Duchess is a pretty good counter to Graveyard. Um, didn't take much damage at all. Let me just... You know what? Let's cycle to another one. Oh, Mini Packer. Let's see how this goes. Oh, that is a lot of knockback. And it's still going to kill it. Okay. Let me play another Wizard. Let's see if he can get to the... He's going to have Evolve Royal Recruits any second now. That'll be interesting because they'll charge into the Wizard's thing. And then the Flame will do damage. Take off its shields maybe even and knock them back for the Wizard to do even more damage. That'll actually be a good... He's going to play it now, I reckon. Oh, no. Okay. Um, let's see. Whenever he plays it, I'm going to want to play my Evolve Wizard. Okay. Is he going to play it now? I've got it in hand. Let's give him the thumbs up. Come on, Carl. Play the Evolve Royal Recruits. Play him. There we go. He got the memo. All right. Let's see how this goes. Pull him, pull him in with Skeletons. And then let's just leave that and see how this interaction goes. Oh, well, I mean, with the Duchess, it didn't even get close. All right, let's pull this over. Versus the Evolve Wizard. Uh, I mean, with the normal Wizard hate, the normal Wizard damage is just going to kill it anyway. I don't know why I'm cycling cards without playing the Wizard. Let's just cycle to the Evolve Wizard. And we've got it. And there's the flame. That's going to stop that completely. All right, let's... Damn, it's going kind of crazy right now. Okay, the Evolved Skeletons are just <laughs> going to go crazy. They might even take... No, they're not going to take Tower. Okay. My guy is struggling against the Evolved Skeletons right now. I almost... Oh, my God. Okay, he's got the Evolved Wizard. That would that, that would actually fully counter the, the thingies. Yep, there you go. All right. I got my Evolved Wizard. His one is defending his tower. Somehow that's not splashing. And then he's got the E-Bubs. Okay, I'm going to have my Evolved Wizard now. All right, let, let, for the record, okay, there, he's got a tank for the graveyard now. So let me play the Evolve Wizard. And it's not, I don't think it's firing will come off. No, okay. Kite this to the Evolve Wizard. And then let me play another one now. And then let me cycle. He can have fun with the Evolve Skeletons again. That is going to take your tower, Carl. <laughs> and then the goblins are just gone. There you go. But yeah, anyway, here's the card stats. As you can see, it's exactly the same. If I go info on the normal wizard and then I go evolution, the only thing that changes when I click these is the shield hit points and explosion damage. One card cycle, there's the art. So it's literally just a purple wizard with a fire ring and a shield. Probably a um, good thing that it's not entirely broken like every other card in this game. But yeah, subscribe and you'll see the new spell tomorrow. It's epic. I want to die.